Hi, and welcome to this week's look at headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, vitamin D is certainly in the headlines a lot this week, thanks to a couple of studies that link blood levels of vitamin D to a couple of different cancers. The first study comes out of Harvard, as well as many other organizations, and links higher vitamin D levels to lower colon cancer risk. The analysis included over 5,700 colorectal cases and 7,100 controls from the U.S., Europe, and Asia. Now, typically, vitamin D recommendations are based on bone health. In the study, those with vitamin D concentrations considered deficient in those parameters had a 31% higher risk of colorectal cancer. Those that had concentrations above the bone health recommendations were linked to a 22% lower risk. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer and third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in both men and women in the U.S. And now research out of San Diego is showing a similar association between vitamin D blood levels and breast cancer. The National Academy of Medicine recommends vitamin D blood levels be 20 nanograms per milliliter. But the recent study is now suggesting levels be nearly three times that. The findings show that people with blood levels about 60 nanograms per milliliter had one-fifth the risk of breast cancer compared to those with less than the recommended 20 nanograms per milliliter. One of the principal investigators said to reach that level of 60 nanograms per milliliter, one would require supplements of about four to 6,000 international units per day or less than that with moderate sun exposure. He also stressed the importance of testing. Finally, do you eat lentils? Well, you might want to add them to your diet, especially after a recent study showed their benefit on blood glucose levels. The study out of Canada showed that replacing half a serving of rice with lentils caused blood glucose to drop by up to 20%, and replacing potatoes with lentils led to a 35% drop. Lentils, which aren't extremely popular in North America, can slow digestion and the release of sugars in starch into the bloodstream, which would then reduce blood glucose levels. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest in natural health.